G'day, I'm Kian, this is Tolfo, and this is the final day of Drag Challenge. Everything comes to a head today, everyone gets to turn up their combos and see just how fast they can go to secure a win or the best result they can. And Tolfo, you're going to tell us all about it while I pass you the mic. Figure out what to do with my hands. What do I do with my hands? Pass that mic, thank you. Alrighty, the fight for the overall thing is very tight. Could go down to Harry, Dan, Chris Carsberg. They're all even Foley could bring something out of the uh, out of the hat. The fight for Haltech Radial Bone is super tight, and of course Vibrant DYO always a super super hard thing to win. Some of the other classes have some dominant performers in GJ Drivelines Outlaw Aspirated Michael Ryder in that Holden powered VN is a fair way ahead. Turbo Smart Outlaw Bone, unless Harry Haig does something really dumb, he's kind of got that one in the bag. You could never never know. Pacemaker Radial Aspirated, bit of an upset here. Yes. Alan Vella, who has yes. won this class nine times in his small block Capri, looks like he's about to be overtaken by Keith Hards in that big block Camaro. What else have we got? Cool Wrap 235 Aspirated. Uh, Donny Zerkus again has overtaken the, mm. the guy who's been the king of this class. That's uh, Nathan Goshen, but it's very, actually, this is a bit of a tight class. So Donny Zerkus in the uh, Capri. Aaron James in the uh, Valiant and Nathan in the other Capri. They're all fairly tight. 235 blown. Looks like uh, that rear mount turbo LS Sigma of Dominic Pelle is going to take the take the cherries there. And Ryan in the F100. His gearbox is a bit iffy. Yes. But if he gets down and does a half reasonable pass, he's going to win Speed Pro 6 cylinder. And uh, yeah. But as you say, this is the time they'll turn it up and we should see some really fast performances today because they don't have to drive anywhere the track is killer the air is great let's send it So we're back again with the Zabolics Marchese Racing HQ and Frank, now Frank, this car's fought you all week but it seems like now at the end of the week things are starting to come to you. 7-8 last night, 7-5 first pass today, how are you feeling right now? I'm a bit annoyed. <laughs> I don't know why we had to work so hard for something that, you know, we've had figured out for uh, 12 months but, you know, that, that's the kind of sport we're in. It's a cruel sport. The best prepared cars could come out, you know. I've said it to you before, if the Formula One guys could lay it out on paper and go to the track and win, it'd be easy. But nothing's easy until you come and do it, you know what I mean? Um, credit to Harry and all the other guys that had it together. It just wasn't our turn this time and um, you know we're happy with a 750 after all that we've been through. So I've got to, I've got to be happy about that. But at the same time, you know, it'd be nice to go and break now. I, I want to try and concentrate on breaking that 200 mile an hour mark. So is that the focus for today? That's the focus, you know, so I mean Harry's a fair way ahead because of the troubles we had during the week. So we just have to focus on the, something now and that's that's all I can focus on. And what about this event as a whole? You've done them a lot, you've won one yourself. How is this one rated compared to the other ones you've tackled? Oh, they all run perfectly fantastic. You know, everyone that puts these things together puts a lot of work into it. Um, and you know you just got to go with it. Another one of your cars is doing very well is uh, Keith Hart's Camaro. He seems he said he's had a little bit of valve train problem at the end of the week, but in terms of times, he's still running very well. So has that been a good result for you? Yeah, we're very excited for Keith. Um, you know, again, drag challenge puts you through a, a you know a, a really tough. I think the toughest part of drag challenge is the drives between the tracks. You know, it's not 100 k's, it's not 200 k's. You know, in some cases we're in a car for seven hours. And that's brutal to any race engine and valve train. 
and we've seen it this week, we're not the only ones having issues, a lot of people are. But on track, the cars performed pretty well, considering. Oh, look, the, we were, yeah, the cars have been fantastic. I think he's four tenths ahead, you know. Um, Al Velo is, is a gentleman, he's a racer, and he's worked hard to win five in a row, and no one will ever take that from him. But our focus was to try and break that cycle, um, and that's what Keith set out to do. So he just went out and ran an 8.5, is that him done for the day, or are you going to send him out again? What's the battle with that car now? Now that we've laid one down today, I'm going to blow that bitch up. <laughs> Very good. Well, best of luck with all your cars, mate. Hopefully it all comes to you. Thanks to Stream Machine and everyone putting on a great event. Uh, thanks for you. Thank you. So here with Jamie Turner and his HQ, currently leading the Vibrant Performance Dial-In DYO class. Mate, how's your weekend been so far? You've done a few of these now. Yeah, done a couple. This one, been pretty good so far. Um, I think the worst we've had is the chrome trim taken off, but can't complain too much, I guess, of that. So for the people who don't know, run us a bit through what's going on with this HQ. Uh, it's just run LS1. Uh, got Higgins heads on it. That's uh, about it. Turbo 400, nine inch, pretty basic combo. Uh, goes mid 11s and yeah, trying to do it consistently. Well, that's what I was going to ask you about. It, how hard is it over a week with so many different tracks to keep it consistent? Because you guys have obviously got a dial leading the class, but how much of a challenge is that? Uh, I think we're up to about 20 runs for this week, so it's not easy. <laughs> um, yeah, we raced last weekend in Sydney as well, so and Portland a couple of weeks before that, so we've got plenty of laps on it and it's still not that easy. So. Now you told me your dad's won this class before in this car and now it's your turn, hopefully. Well, I'm hoping so. Anything can happen, but um, yeah, he won 2019. That was our first one we done. Uh, and then we done the weekend one and I think ended up fifth. So um, I could have kept going at Mildura to try and get better, but we didn't hit the road and we sort of kicked ourselves a bit about that. So Now you two have done a few of these. How's this one rated compared to the others you've done? Uh, yeah, pretty good. The drive through Halls Gap was awesome. The scenery there was like insane. Um, yeah, other than that, it's been pretty long, but yeah, it's not too bad. And how about today? Are you hoping you're going to keep that consistency and wrap it up? Oh, 100%. 100%. Um, yeah, I said to the old man, we'll pretty much do laps until we get the number the car breaks or the track shuts. So, so you get to hang around, basically. Oh, 100%. Yeah. All right, well, best of luck, mate. Hopefully you bring it home. Thank you.
So mere minutes after leaving Frank, he comes and tells us he's got some bad news for the HQ and it's hopes for today. Mate, what's happened? <laughs> I told you it's a cruel sport, you know. Um, we've come back from that run and the boys have seen oil dripping from the car and obviously you start investigating and what's happened is some, something's happened where we've heard a converter seal or a um, transmission seal. And yeah, so there goes our dream of running 200 for this year, you know what I mean? We're, we're going to have to wait till the end of the year. That's right, these boys aren't giving up. You'll see them at the next five day one. And uh, there's still a chance you guys can walk away with the quickest pass of the, the week award. Well look, it's so far. Harry may come out and better it, so let's not speak. But it is what it is, that's drag challenge. Hard luck mate, but hey look, he's always in the best spirits about this stuff, isn't he? And we can't wait to see him back. Thanks mate, thank you. So we're here with another Drag Challenge regular, Dominic Pell and his cool little Sigma, leading the Tough Mounts 235 blown class. Mate, how's your week been? Yeah, it's been good, mate. It's, um, I'm here with my son. It's the first time I've done it with my son, Luke, and uh, it's been terrific. Yeah, I've had an issue with a TPS switch all week, but we've driven around it. Um, and yeah, it's just great to be back, to be honest with you, after all these years. It's great. Yeah. So give us a rundown of this combo, because we know LS, but there's a turbo and it's not where you expect it to be. No, that's right, yeah. So it's um, basic uh, alloy block 6 litre with a standard factory crank. It's got rods and pistons in it, um, four digit heads that are standard, um, little camshaft. It's got a Garrett GT47, but we've got it mounted down near the uh, back bumper bar. It's got the induction pipe runs through the car. Uh, it's got a shift right two speed glide in it. It's an SDE converter in it. Um, just three five diff gears, uh, 35 spine, nine inch, yeah. And how's it been going on track for you this week? Yeah, it's been good. I, I um, the car's PB'd of an 860. Uh, I ran an 890, uh, one and done on the first day. Kept an eye out. Was here pretty much all day. Kept an eye out. I was scared, scared shitless of the boys with the with the Salika, um, but good, good bunch of guys. So yeah, we kept an eye on that. I went 580 at Portland. Same thing, keeping an eye. 570, one and done at Mildura. Kept an eye out. 890 yesterday kept an eye out. 890 again this morning and I think I'm there. So now it's time to play around. I, I want to try and get close to me PB of an 860 today, yeah. And um, how have you rated this drag challenge to other ones? You've done a lot of these, so how's this one been overall as an event? Mate, um, yeah, really good. 
uh, same amount of Ks with one less day's drivings. Yeah, on the first day, I'm like, what am I doing here? <laughs> but no, it was great. That drive through the, uh, the, the mountains there, Gampion, so I think they're called. Yeah, it was terrific. Um, Hall's Gap, great. Um, really good. The, the Mildura staff went above and beyond the other night. Yeah, they did. Um, and same as yesterday afternoon, the staff here at Heathcote went above and beyond. Um, well, Portland's Portland. They always try and give us as best they got. Um, yeah, but overall, it's it's been really good. The drive, the first drive, I found hard, um, but the rest of the week it come good. So, yeah. all right. Well, best of luck getting that PB and hopefully the class win. Yeah, hopefully, my fingers, toes, and everything else crossed. <laughs>with Luke Foley who was at the top end of Haltech Radio Blown and the overall results after we left Muldura but then mate on the way down here things went a bit nasty and you're holding the car past to tell the story so tell us what happened. Sure did um, we're driving along everything was all going fine but um just yeah we we're halfway between Swan Hill and Muldura and yeah all of a sudden just started ticking we quickly pulled over and had a listen to see where it was coming from and yeah it was definitely valve train so uh, we pulled off the rocker covers found which one was sort of the problem and then next thing we know we've got the manifold, valley plate, everything all off and to find a yeah, lifter so we're able to slip the lifters out and then yeah tried to organise a couple others, now much luck, found some we're going to meet us at Heathcote with and um, we just decided to put some hose clamps around the lifters so they could hold up to save putting any metal through the motor, pulled the spark plug out 
disconnect the injector and drove it up here with a yeah, sounded like a compressor. So yeah, it's made a lot of noise, scaring all the animals in the paddocks, and yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. Worst 200 k drive. <laughs> So you limped it here and then it was straight into rebuilding the engine. Tell us about sourcing the parts and what happened last night once you finally made it out on track. Um, we sourced some parts from a fellow drag racer, Mark Drew, down in Geelong. So and we ended up getting them sent up here. Um, yeah, one of the old camshafts out of here is Krusty Tirana. Um, so we knew it would be something sort of similar to what we sort of run, but it's a fair bit different. But um, we are able to get it running, get a base tune into it. So we went out, done a half track pass just to check and make sure we weren't going to melt it down. Um, it was all sort of okay. We weren't, air fuels were okay, we were happy with it, so went out to do a full pass and uh, hit a safety at about just before half track and we rolled through for a 9-1. Um, come back and found that number uh, cylinder number seven was cold and it had actually thrown the lash caps off on top of the rockers, so it was had a lot of extra clearance on those. Um, Unaware, we thought it may have been a crack plug, so we just fixed that and then went back out again. And halfway through the pull, it um, pulled a rocker out of the head, so the aluminium was just a bit soft in the head. Yeah, so we found that this morning, had to hand that pass in, which was a long way off where we wanted to be, but we we're just happy to get anything down at that stage. So at least we're still out there, we can finish the week, that's what it's all about. So doesn't matter whereabouts you are, as long as you're finished, so, which is always good. So. And if you think that's an incredible effort, today you came out, still a little bit of hodgepodge valve train combo, and what did you run? Um, yeah, today we went out straight out and went a 780. Um, but yeah, we're going to go out and try to do one more, chase it a little bit more, it's just, it's down on power a little bit with the camshaft that's in there. Um, but yeah, we've, we've made it work, we've got us out of trouble, so big thanks to all them boys, and big thanks to all the guys that support us. We've got, Raceworks, TDR Race Engines where I work, and Golf Garage, F guys, and AF Industries. But yeah, all without those guys, yeah, all the little bits they do to help all makes this yeah, happen. So yeah, it's great. Now you've done a lot of these marathons. How does this one rate overall in terms of difficulty and how the event's been? I know you've had some troubles, but the event overall, how do you rate it? I love the event, love the event, but it's a bit difficult this one with the night racing and that. So. Um, we generally like to get to the track where we're racing that day, but um, if we can't get to the track that day, we always seem to have problems and look, we stayed in Mildura because it was too late to sort of hit the road and then we had this happen. So it's just anything can happen. Like as I say, I've done thousands of Ks on this before the event and never have a problem and just driving up the highway and look, these lifters and camshaft have been in it for five years now untouched. That just shows you just got to keep up on top of that stuff like it's usually the NA cars that have this sort of stuff breaking, not not these little things with little hydraulic cams in them, so, but no. All right, well, even with the troubles, I believe Luke's still within a chance of a podium, so best of luck for the rest of the day, mate, and hopefully get another seven. Cheers, thanks heaps, mate. Cheers.
So here we are, end of the day, staging lanes are empty, track's quiet. And Mr. Harry Howe, you got something very nice in your hand there, mate. Yeah, I've got a big shaft in my hand, which is uh, always a good day when I can end up with that. And uh, I want to thank the Street Machine boys, all the competitors, and everyone, like from the people at the servos, the towns have put up their noisy shit boxes rolling through town. Been a great week. Uh, I've had a great time. It's not only you the winner, but you're the back-to-back -back winner. We haven't done a five-dayer since 2019 when you last won. How does that feel? Well, you know, if you can't run with the big dogs, just sit on the porch, bud. <laughs> So plenty of uh, plenty of uh, beers tonight, mate. If you're going to the Tulane pub tonight, if this production gets out, that's where you want to be. That's where it's going to be at. <laughs> All right, well, I won't keep you from it for a minute longer. So enjoy it, mate, and thanks very much. All right, thanks, everyone. Appreciate you. Yep. Congratulations. And that brings us to the end of Drag Challenge for 2022, 2023. Thanks to all the competitors, all of our staff, all the track staff, and to our amazing sponsors: Tough Mounts, Turbo Smart, Haltech, Pacemaker, Speed Pro, GJ Drive Lines, Vibrant, and Cool Wrap. See you next time. Freaking sky raisins are getting me. I'm gonna get worse. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on. G'day guys, welcome to Street Machine Drag Challenge Day 3. The passes have already started, Telfro's gone. How was your 60 foot, mate? That was beautiful. <laughs> I didn't bring my wig. <laughs> Make sure your hair's nice and straight. <laughs> 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 Shut up, Jesse. <laughs> on camera, unfortunately. <laughs> Drinking Jack Daniels. It's, uh, it's actually quite beautiful out here, apart from the fact it smells a little bit like poo. It's good. But well done, dickhead. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's how much you drink, man. <laughs> it's like, hey, my nose coat. <laughs> Which are part of today's cruise route. So, then we, I don't know what we do from then. Good, it's uh, well, we're day in day two and I'm hungry uh, and thirsty. You're never hungry. Yeah, I know, I can just keep on going. Everything's going swell, I see. As you can see, uh, you know, everything's just fine in our camp. No, no problems at all. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, what am I saying? <laughs> we're in the middle of nowhere uh, on our way to Portland. Um, we're checking the cars out, driving past. It's going to be in our video that you just watched. Gonna be f <laughs> Let's serve dessert. Sugar alert. Don't spill any sweetness on your shirt. 